Some local school districts are still on summer break for another week. Lucky them. So we found tons of families here soaking up their final slice of summer. A one scoop of cotton candy. I'm going to try scotch. We are part of Beaverton School District and we don't start until next week. So we wanted to do one last hurrah. You have to kick in as many last minute moments as you can before school starts. So yeah, absolutely. Matt Zafino said Astoria and Tillamook both broke records yesterday. The same heat wave swept over Seaside. So when people saw us, they came up and said you should have been here yesterday like these longtime Oregonians. Yeah, yesterday was over the top. Yesterday was crazy. It was quite warm and it's dropped a little bit, but it's, it's yeah, it was what, up at 85, 90, something like that down here, which is not normal for us. So it's we call that our one day of summer, which is always fabulous. On the walk down to the beach, we were like, <gasps> and you had to go in the water to get refreshed. But today, um, it's enjoyable to be out on the sand, um, and if you go in the water, it feels a little chilly. Uh, today is sweatshirt weather. Yesterday was no sweatshirt required whatsoever. I like that term, sweatshirt weather, and it's so true once the wind picks up on the beach. I think we can all agree the water on the Oregon coast is frigid. You typically need a wetsuit to bear it. Yesterday, not the case. Today, not many people were so eager to run in and cool off. Sorry, people, but it is cold. <laughs> yeah, but yay, if you're brave enough and you're young enough, you'll go out in that water all day long like these kids are doing.